Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak and what we're going to talk about is sand substrates. Um, a lot of people like using sand because it's inexpensive but there's some contradicting information out there about different sands. One of the sands is pool filter sand and the other one is play sand. And uh, I just happened to get somebody make a comment and I'm going to read you their comment and then I'm going to actually tell you the truth about everything. They wrote, pool filter sand isn't natural, it is a manufacturer, so it doesn't compact when used in pool filters. Pool filter sand is a larger granule size than play sand. The larger granules don't compact easily. Of course, that is not a problem with your mix substrate, Kevin, because I mix the substrate with sand and some substrate gravel that I had in my 20 gallon tank. I mixed it up. I'm just adding some information for people that want to do with just sand. The trouble is the adding the information that he's talking about is 100% wrong. First of all, pool filter sand isn't natural, it's a manufacturer so it doesn't compact when used in pool filters. That's absolutely wrong. Pool filter sand is smaller in size than play sand. Pool filter sand averages between 0.45 to 0.55 millimeters in size. Okay, so that's about uh, 18 thousandths of an inch to 22 thousandths of an inch in diameter. Pool filter size. Okay. Play sand, on the other hand, is anywhere between 1 to 2 millimeters, which means it's anywhere between 39 thousandths to 80 thousandths of an inch in diameter. That's considerably bigger than Pool filter sand. Pool filter sand compacts. And it's designed that way because the pour water and permeability of the sand is designed to micron filter out substrates or particulate matter that is in a pool or a pond because they're used in pressure filters. And the pressure filter has a high output pump, and it usually runs at about 10 psi of pressure with that pool sand. And that can filter down the pool sand to 20 microns. Now, in case you don't know how small 20 microns is, because the sand is so much smaller than play sand, a 20 microns is down to 8 tenths of an inch which means eight ten thousandths of an inch. That means you take an inch, divide it into 10,000 segments, and take eight of those segments, and that's how it can filter down to particulate matter that small. So what he states here is it's larger. No, that is 100% false. We have microscopes that have what they call micron scales on them. And you can put a granule of sand on them and you can measure just the diameter. And these microscopes are usually, you can find them in tool and die shops, you can find them in mold shops, you can find them in med um, machinist shops. These microscopes that can actually measure down to microns. Or you can use a uh, not a caliper, but uh, there are other materials out there like a micrometer. The name micrometer is for very small particular matter. And you can actually use a micrometer to measure a grain of sand and find out what the different sizes of sand are. So it's not hard to find out the diameter of sand. He says... Uh, isn't natural. It's a manufacturer. Well, that's wrong. It is natural. Both sands are natural. In fact, 
what people don't understand is pool sand and play sand are both quartz made from quartz rocks, both silica based. So they're silica sands, both made from the same substrate, quartz. It's just that when they manufacture the play sand and they manufacture pool sand, pool sand is actually made smaller in granule size than pool sand is. So it's just the opposite of what he said. Because pool sand is not used in filters, pressure filters, because it won't quite get down to the micron size that is highly desirable with pool sands. So, we know first of all that uh, they're both silico, silica sands. They're both made from quartz rock. They're not natural sands. Natural sands are made from coral and from rocks that have been through millions of years, been disintegrated down to a fine particulate matter. And that's why on different beaches you may have different color sands, only because how much coral could be added in there that has whitened from the sun. So that sand's going to look a little different than these man-made process sands. Okay. That uh, both of them, because they're both silica, they both have a health hazard on them. Because silica, if you breathe in silica, you can get cancer in your lungs. If it lodges in your lungs, you can wind up with lung cancer from silica. And that is OSHA regulated. So when you do sandblasting sands, which could be different sizes also, uh, that's all regulated by OSHA on how to take care of that sand and how to dispose of that sand correctly so that silica doesn't go into people's lungs. Usually when you clean out a sandblaster, you're going to wear a mask and everything because you don't want the silica to get into your lungs. So both sands are really have warnings on them because of that one purpose, that it is made out of silica, which is made from quartz. They're both made from quartz. Um, so I'll just let you think about that if they're both made from the same material. Um, this is a coarser sand, play sand. So now if you watch my videos, I talk about two things about like clay, the permeability and pore water. And when we talk about permeability and pore water, we're talking about the grain size and the area around the grain size are the openings in between the grain size that is together, the openings. And that will be your pore water and your permeability. We know for a fact that pool sand has a lower permeability and porosity than play sand because play sand is bigger it's going to have bigger pores and better permeability than pool sand that's already a gimme because don't forget pool sand has been designed to filter out particulate matters in ponds and pools so it's specifically designed to be smaller to specifically pull out small micron particles out of your pool or out of your pond for that matter. This is not. That's why I used it. Then if you cut it with gravel of some sort, the porosity and permeability increases where water can flow more freely through it. So we know that water does not flow very freely through pool sand as it does play sand. It's not designed for that. That's why they put it in pressure filters and put it under 10 to 25 PSI of pressure to clean your pools with. 
And then when it becomes clogged up and you see it's barely running, you have a valve that you can turn that will stir it up and flush it out and flush out all the gunk that's in the sand. And then you close the valve and the sand will be clean and therefore you start all over again. That's why the pressure filters are designed that way, so they can be back flushed. Okay? I don't know where hobbyists got that idea that uh, pool sand is heavier. It isn't. Per granule, it is not. It's both silica. This is a larger silica, so it's going to be heavier than pool sand is. But because of its size, it has better permeability and better pour water. That's why when I told you, if you make a aquarium, and you're going to use sands and dirts, you may have to increase the amount of bubbles you're using on your plenum. Because, remember, the pore water and permeability is getting tighter. The matrix is tighter. Uh, look at it this way. you got a real fine sponge filter, and then you have a very coarse sponge filter. Okay? Now, water is going to come into your filter. Which filter do you put first? Do you put the very fine filter before the coarse filter? Or do you put the coarse filter before the fine filter? Well, we all know you put the coarse filter before the fine filter, because if you put the fine filter first, without trying to filter out some of the particulate matter, your filter is going to get clogged up faster. We all know that. So you put a coarse filter, and then you go down in size of your micron level until you come to your fine filter, so it doesn't clog up as fast. Same thing with pool sand and play sand. The play sand is finer, so it will filter lower micron than play sand. But play sand allows water to flow in and out of it easier than pool sand will. And some pool sands, like, uh, for example, Clorox, their sand is even finer yet and smaller in size, particulate size. And that's who it's made by Clorox. That sand is even finer. So it then can even pick up even lower than 20 microns. It can pick up to like 18 to 15 microns. That even gets lower yet and this particulate size that it will catch. So I've seen this. I'm sure you've seen it. I, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it on forums where people say, Oh, uh, and I, I've actually read this where pool sand is a lot heavier and it's better. No, that's false. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to figure all this out. And in fact, it's even taught in the agriculture about sands and everything else that you don't have separate soils. You don't have a soil with sand. You mix them. So the permeability and pour water is equal and you don't have to then saturate something to get fluids through it. And I used to get uh, agriculture magazines all the time, and they explain, which we have all have done, where you take a pot and you put a plant in it. We have all done this. You will put gravel on it, or you put sand at the bottom, and then you put your dirt on top, and then you plant your plant on it. And they said that's actually wrong. You should mix the gravel and the dirt together because of the different pore waters and permeability of the two different substrates. One then has to become saturated with water before it starts coming through because of the different layers. So that's why farmers and greenhouses will mix their soils with sand. Don't have the sand at the bottom or at the top. They mix it. So the per permeability and pore water is equal and the water will flow through at the right rate without drowning the plant. And that's why they do it. So this is why I chose play sand. It's already clean, pre-washed, it's already filtered out, it says it right on the bag because it's made for children. The two sands, if you had to have a choice, get play sand over pool sand, unless you want a finer sand, then you would get the pool sand. But remember, fluids are not going to move as easily through pool sand 
as they do play sand. Because it's finer, the finer you get, the finer, the lower the micron will become. We all know that. So the bigger your stones are going to be, we know that bigger particulate matter and water will flow easier. The finer it becomes, water then becomes hindered and flows a lot slower. This is why when you make an anoxic filter or you make a BCB bag, this is why using the right materials of the right size is so important because you're trying to achieve the right flow of fluids going through it so you can make anoxic conditions and not anaerobic conditions. And here in Florida, we have sand. Now, sometimes you'll dig into the sand, everything's fine. Sometimes I could dig in the sand in my yard, and as I'm digging, the sand is turning gray. So you'll have a nice sand that looks like, you know, normal sand, and then all of a sudden it's getting gray and it'll smell. Now, anyone who lives in Florida will tell you this. That's because oxygen is not moving freely through the substrate. So... That's why we're governed down here in Florida by certain plants that we can plant. Not every plant is going to live in the poor soil that's down here. It's basically a lot of sand here in Florida. And I think people who live in Florida will also confirm of what I'm saying, that yes, if you dig into it, you may find the soils turning gray or even black, and it will smell because oxygen is not freely flowing through the substrate like it should be. Like up north, heck, you could dig two, three feet, and you're not going to have a problem. You know, the dirt smells good, rich, and, and not, a, not a single problem. Here in Florida, all you have to do is dig a few inches, and you can already run into gray sand and darkening sand or black sand, because oxygen is not flowing through the way it's supposed to be. So I thought I would do this video. If you ever go on a forum and someone says, pool sand is heavier, it is not. Okay. The sand that's going to be heavier is the sand that's going to be bigger in size because they both are made out of the same material, quartz. They're both silica-based. They're both made out of quartz. One's bigger than the other, so no, one is not going to be a heavier sand. And I've seen this, I'm sure you have, where the pool sand is much heavier, and if it goes up, it comes back down. To, no, it's, it's smaller, it's lighter. It's actually lighter per granule than play sand. So we need to debunk these myths because they're not right, and it's not correct information. Somebody somewhere wanted somebody to buy pool sand over play sand that's already pre-cleaned, pre-filtered, and they wanted somebody to buy pool sand and spend a little more money on pool sand than just buying ordinary plain sand. How did this come about? I don't know. How did this misinformation come about and it's being told to hobbyists? I don't know how that happened. But this video is debunking that right off the bat. It is false information. And if you don't believe me, Google it. Go to a search engine and start Googling it, and you're going to find out everything I'm saying is right there. So whoever is saying, like this individual who wrote me and says that pool sand is, uh, isn't natural. Well, quartz, quartz is not natural. Of course it's natural. It's manufactured, but it's natural. It, it is not sand that you're going to find on a beach. No. That's naturally made by Mother Nature. I don't know if maybe that's what he was referring to. Pool filter sand is larger and granular. Like, no. No, it is not. That's been debunked. 0.45 millimeters is a lot smaller than uh, 2 millimeters. And I'm sure the European people that are listening to this right now are probably shaking their head saying, yeah, uh, there's a big difference in size between two millimeters and 0.45 to 0.55 millimeters. Big difference in size. So that is debunked right off of there. So him adding some 
information, he's adding wrong information. So I left his comment up, but I also put my rebuttal up exactly so. If you do see this person's comment, you'll know it is 100% wrong. And what I am giving is the facts, just the facts. So if you're a hobbyist, you're on a forum, and people are beating you up about, oh, you need to use pool sand over play sand, give them the facts. Send them to this video. Give them the facts. These are the facts. Play sand is larger. It's bigger. It's clean. It's designed. You can take it right out of the bag and use it directly. You don't have to clean it because it's been pre-cleaned and pre-filtered because it's being used for children. They're both silica-based. They're both made from quartz. You know, I mean... Come on, it's, it's, it's just the same material, except one smaller than the other. So he's got it backwards. Play Santa's larger. Okay, until next time, this is Dr. Noy. I hope, I hope I cleared up the problem that we keep hearing that pool sand is far better than play sand. Uh, no, it's not. It's permeability and pour water is different, has a different structure, it's a lot tighter, and therefore the fluids do not move as easily through it. Now, if someone were to say microbial population can increase with pool sand versus play sand, true, you have more surface area because you have smaller particulate matter, so you have more surface area. But what good is it to have more surface area if fluids can't move freely through it to make the aerobic bacteria that you want? And if fluids move too slow or, or almost become hindered, you don't want to make anaerobic conditions. So therefore, go with the play sand. It's going to be bigger and it won't compact like pool sand will. And pool sand is designed to do that. That's why they use it for pressure filters. So until next time, I hope this has cleared up the whole myth about sands. Use what sand you want, but just remember, don't let anybody bamboozle you into believing that pool sand is so much superior than play sand. It is not. It's been debunked. No, it is not. It's not superior, it's just what is your preference. If you like the pool sand because it looks better to you, it's a finer grade sand, go for it. But that's why I went with this and I cut it with gravel to increase the pore water permeability of the substrate. It's all part of the science. Until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you very much for watching.